guys, welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we have created our statement custom object. Now in this tutorial, we will start adding field to our statement object. So the first field that we're going to add will be the amount. The data type for the amount field would be currency. So let's go ahead and create this field. So we'll go back to the developers account here and under the custom field and relationships for the statement object, go ahead and click on new. So the field data type would be currency. So let's go ahead and select that. Hit next. What is going to be the field label? We'll call it as amount. The length would be equals to 16 and decimal places would be 2. And then hit the next button. Visible to all. Next. And then we'll hit save and new. So we have created our first field on the custom object statement. The next field will be additional fees. That is also going to be of the currency data type. So we'll go back and uh, we'll create another field and the data type would be currency. Hit next. Field label, we'll call it as additional fees. And uh, the length would be 16. Decimal places would be 2. Hit next. Visible to all. Next. And then save and new. The next field will be total amount. That will be a formula field, which will be the sum of the amount plus the additional fee. Let's go ahead and create this field. So the data type would be formula. So here we're going to go ahead and select the formula as the data type. Hit next. The field label will call it as total amount. And the return type would be checkbox. Hit the next button. And what is going to be the formula for total amount? It will be equal to the amount plus the additional fees. So this is going to be the sum of the amount the renter has to pay. Plus if there was an additional fee, total amount would be equals to sum of both these values. Let's look for any syntax errors. Nope, nothing. Everything looks good. So you can description, we can say total amount which the renter has to pay including additional fees. Hit the next button, visible to all, next, save and new. Now the next field that we're going to add is going to be a lookup field to the rental agreement. So we're going to go ahead and create this field. It's a lookup relationship. So we're going to go ahead and select the lookup relationship from the data type. Hit the next button. It is related to what? It is going to be related to the rental agreement. So we're going to go ahead and create this. Hit the next button. Field name and then next. Visible to all. Next. And then next. And then save and new. The next field we will create is the statement date. You can call it as statement issue day also. But we'll leave it to statement date. So that is the date where when the statement was issued. And by default, the value would be today's. Here, we're going to go ahead and select the data type as date. And hit the next button. Field label would be statement date. And default value would be today. So that is going to be the default value. And hit the next button. Visible to all. Hit next. And then save and new. Now. Statement date is there, but then due date. So when is the last day for the renter to make the payment? That will be the today's date plus the 15th. Or what we can do is we can make a statement for the future also, right? So we'll say due date would be equals to statement date plus 15 day. Let's change it to that because that that will make more sense. Statement day plus the 15 day. So if you have chosen the statement day as uh, January 1st, the due date would be January 15. We're going to get, say the due date would be equals to statement date plus 15. So we're going to make this as a formula field. So we're going to go ahead and select the formula. Hit the next. Turn type would be date and we'll call it as due date. And hit the next. It is going to be equals to the statement date plus 15 days. So that is going to be the due date. Let's look at the syntax. Everything looks good. Next, visible to all, next, save and new. 
The next field would be we'll add would be a status field. It is going to be a pick list and the values for the pick list would be issued, paid and passed due. So let's go ahead and add this field to our custom object statement. So we'll go back here. It is going to be a pick list. So choose pick list from the data type. Hit the next button. Field label, we'll call it as status. And the values for the pick list would be issued, paid, and then pass due. Then hit the next button. Visible to all. Hit next. And then save and new. We have a last field to enter is amount paid. And it's a roll up summary to the payment object on the amount field. So since we have not created this object yet, we will come back to this later on. So we're going to go ahead and work on that later. So these are the different fields that we have added to our statement object. So we have additional fees, amount, due date, rental agreement, statement date, status, total amount, etc. So these are the fields that we have added. Now in the next tutorial, we are going to work on our fourth and the last custom object called payments. So I will see you then. Thank you so much.